hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Ritesh and I'm back with another tutorial so this time I'm going to show you how you can use Mixamo assets in Maya not only you can download the characters but you can also use multiple animation at the same time in Maya I'm going to show you how you can download and import the assets in your 3d software and I'm going to show you how you can use the tracks editor to add multiple animation clips into one character so I'm going to start with the character section of this website and as you can see that we have a lot of characters here you can choose any of them so I'm going to use either this or maybe this one so now that we have this character here what you can do is you can go to animation and you can apply any of these presets so I'm going to select few of them uh, you can search as well so I'll select this one and it's going to apply the animation here on this character and you can go to download select your file format I'm going to select this FPX ask I. and if you don't want the textures for your character you can select this without skin but if you want the texture files then you can click on this with skin and here you can define the frame rates of your animations so I think I'll go with 30 which is pretty standard and I'm going to click on this download and it's going to download this asset with this animation so we have this zombie screen and you can also add few more animation so I'm going to search for something like run so let's see how it looks I think this is the one I'm going to go to download and click with the same settings and download and at last I'm going to add one more animation which is going to be the jump and let's click on the download and download this one as well now since we have all the animations what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to maya and first i'm going to create a project so let's go to the project window and i'm going to create a new project which is going to be you can rename it whatever you want i'm going to rename it as mix more tutorial and step now what we are going to do is we are going to go to that folder and in the scenes I'm going to import all those files that we downloaded and open the Maya let's go to file import and just open any one of them I'm going to click on this zombie screen and now we have this model here if you press 6 it's going to show you the textures on your mesh like this and we can play this timeline to see the animation like this so the animation is pretty smooth what many people can face here is your animation might look like this if you want to fix that what you can do is you can just right click on your timeline go to the playback speed and if it's set to play every frame free just change it to real time like this and if you play then it's going to be perfect now you can render this as it is so you can use this animation and if you want to add multiple animation to the same character what you can do is you can use tracks editor so first I'm going to go to windows go to animation editor and open this tracks editor now i'm going to select this go to create and select this animation clip and it's going to show you this clip here so if i move my timeline like this it's going to show you the animation so we have this clip here 
so we need to extract this animation clip first so i'm going to go to file and here you'll see this option export animation clip click here and it's going to export the clip to the same project folder that we just created and i'm going to rename it as stream animation i'm going to close this again go to file import and i'm going to import another file we downloaded so this time i'm going to click on this run and let's see how it looks So if we go to Windows Animation Editor, go to Tracks Editor, go to Create Animation Clip. First we have to select this. Again go to Create Animation Clip. Now we have two clips, the one from before, the stream and the new one which is the run. So I'm going to delete this and now we just have this run. So I'm going to select this, go to file, export animation and rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to select this, go to file, import and I'm going to import the same thing again which is this jumping down animation let's play this again select this go to windows animation editor tracks editor go to create animation clip now we have this animation clip here again go to file export animation clip and i'm going to rename it as jump animation so now we have all those animation clips we just exported i'm going to select this delete now what we are going to do is we are going to import our file one more time so let's go to import and i'm going to import this jumping down and now we have this animation here and now to this animation I'm going to add the other two animation we exported from before so I'm going to select this go to windows animation editors and open this tracks editor let's go to create and click on this animation clip now we have this jumping down animation clip in our timeline here you can press ctrl and use the scroll button or scroll wheel to shrink the timeline it's just like the timeline in any other video editing software just like premiere pro so i'm going to go to file and click on this import animation clip to this character and uh, i'm going to add this run animation first so select this and open and i'm going to place it here like this and uh, now let's try to play this but as you can see that uh, we have a little bit of framing issue here as you can see that our timeline has only 84 but our animation here is extended to 160 frame so what we can do is we can just change this number and just set it to 200 so that we have enough space to work and uh, let's try and play this animation So as you can see that there is some gap here if i fill this gap by dragging this right next to the other animation clip you see a weird transition like this so what you can do is you can just extend this to this point and i'm going to select both of them go to create and select this blend which is going to add a transition and make our animation a little bit smoother so if i click play then let's see what happens our character goes back and it starts to run
so it automatically adds some frames that can work as a transition between two animation clips now i'm going to import my last animation so go to import and now we have this screen so i'll add this here and again select both of them go to create and blend and let's play the entire thing so if it looks a little bit odd what you can do is i'm going to select this and maybe pull this here check these connection and delete and i'm going to add this scream animation right next to the jumping down and then go to create and blend and let's see if it's better and now we can add this running animation with this scream go to create and select blend and now let's play so this looks a little bit better but we definitely have to work between the scream and the jumping down clips these two looks odd but you can add any type of animation here you can manually animate and put this character a little bit back so that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are watching this for the first time you can also follow me on the instagram and join my discord server all the links are given in the description so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one